Hi everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to Tea Time in a Card. I'm just going to hold off just for a bit, make sure everybody finds me okay. Okay, I can see you guys coming on. Welcome everyone. So I have a lot of new products to show you today before I show you my project. So I ordered, uh, we had some new products that just got ordered, uh, added to our online exclusives and my order came in today. So I wanted to show you what I got. This is Garden Meadow and it also has the dies to go with it. Look at this cute little gate. It's got all kinds of dies. Now there is a uh, designer paper that goes with this also, but I did not order the designer paper because I have so much of it right now. But this is a garden meadow, something that goes really well, and I'm going to use it tonight with this, is the adhesive-backed dragonflies and birds. I'm going to bring it close so you guys can see. Look how cute those little dragonflies are. These are self-adhesive. And the other one that I got today is the fluffiest friends. Look at these chubby little friends. They're so cute. Looks like a little beaver, a bird, a rabbit. There's a bear. This to me looks like a kitty cat, two kitty cats maybe. And then again, we have the dies to go with it. There's 21 dies on this one. And you could even make a little beehive uh, shaped cardstock piece with this. So those are my new products that came today, but I have more to show you. I, because I signed up for a stamping up event that happens in November called On Stage, I was able to order a beautiful suite and I'm going to entice you with it because during the month of October, you guys know that you can join the stamping up family with these great deals. We're celebrating our 35th uh, anniversary. Stamping up has been around for 35 years. One of the, the perks of joining right now is the free registration to a Stamping Up On Stage event. So the event that I just talked to you about, that I ordered for the event, you guys are gonna fall in love with this. And if you join during the month of October, you get the free event, plus you'll get to order this suite of products. I have a lot to show you. I haven't even opened my package of paper yet. Just this alone should entice you. Look how cute this is. Let me go ahead and open this. This just came like a couple hours ago and I haven't had, even had a chance to go through it yet. Okay. This is called Be Mine 12 by 12 designer paper. The colors are Basic Black, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, Petal Pink, Pool Party, and Sweet Sorbet. I'm looking at this paper for the first time with you guys. So let's start out with this sheet that you just saw. I'm gonna flip this one over. I'm gonna go slow so the camera can pick this up. Little honey pots. This has little swirls in it. I'm gonna bring this one up closer just so you can see the little swirls. And let me see, hopefully you guys were able to see this one. Okay, tiny little bees. And let's flip this one over. This one has little hearts all over it. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of hearts already. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Look at the beautiful colors. This one has little flowers, little daisies. Beautiful colors again. This one just has stripes. And the last one, some more bees. And the hexagon shapes. Okay, let's see what goes with this. This is not the most exciting part. I know you guys are gonna love what else I'm going to show you? Let me dig them out. Be My Valentine. 
So it's going to be, now this set is going to be available in January when the mini catalog comes out. But if you join now, you can order this as a demonstrator. So this is the stamp set. No dies, but guess what? We have a punch. This is the bee body, the wings, and then a little heart. So this is a bundle. And there's more. Let me open this up so I can show it. Close. Adhesive back, hearts and flowers. Look how cute these are. Self-adhesive. And they're really flat. Let me see if I can show you a sideways view. They're really flat, so it'll be easy to mail these. Okay, that's the embellishments. Now we need some ribbon. The ribbon is, let me see, Sweet Sorbet Bordered Ribbon. So let me bring that close. And it's very thin, so it'll be easy to work with. And one more thing. These are called square pillow boxes. Let me take one out. I haven't assembled one yet. Sorry for all the crinkly noise. Oh, these are very, very thick. Right here is the adhesive that you would peel off. And you're just going to shape these into the curvy. See the curviness that you see, the curvy score lines? I'm not going to put one together, but look how easy it is to bend these. And they really just take the shape. And then you would stick uh, this, this one on top of this one. So these are pillow boxes. Imagine how cute this will be with some bees on there. So again, if you join, I'm just going to quickly go over this. You can pick two options, $125 worth of products for $64.35, that's 35% off. Or the best deal, you pick $168.75, 35% more for $99. Free shipping, free paper pumpkin kit free registration to the event in November and you'll get to order this suite that I just showed you. Total value is $290 for $99. So hit me up if you need help and you'd like to join. Okay, I had a craft fair a couple of weeks ago and I had a lot of people that saw some of the items I was selling. And one of those items was an easel calendar. Now it folds flat, and you guys, I had a lot of people ask me how to make these, very easy. It folds flat, opens up like an easel. You have the little post-it note that holds it open, and then of course the calendar sits on the front. Now this is one that I had made, I'll just show, show you a few more. This one I had flowers. This one is the masculine one with some fishing paper, designer paper, and then the fishing bobs. And then this one had daisies. I had a lot more designs. I had butterflies, dragonflies. Um, people love these. They make great stocking stuffers. So I'm going to show you how to make that today. I am going to use the new set. And I did go ahead and stamp and color the wheelbarrow and the little basket of flowers. So that's all set and I colored them with Stamping Blends markers. And I'm using the Garden Walk designer paper. So I'm just gonna quickly look at all the flowers. These are full of flowers. And then on the other side, you have your patterns. And the one that I am using today is this one. This is four by four. Okay, I've got a lot of pieces here. Now, in order to make this so that it doesn't bend easy, I like this to be really sturdy. What I did is I cut two pieces of the cardboard that comes with your designer paper, two pieces four by four. So all of three of these are four by four. I need a basic white three and three quarter by three and three quarter. That's going to be on the inside. And then the base is eight by four. And we're gonna score this. Now I'm all out of calendars because I used everything that I had. These calendars here, I got on Etsy. 
If you go on Etsy and just type in mini calendar, you'll find a ton. I just happen to like this size. Let me tell you what size they are. Actually measures three inches by two and a quarter. You can find smaller ones and you can find larger ones. It depends what size you wanna go with. So what I did is I just made a pretend calendar with cardstock just to show you how it, it glues. Now, when I do my post-it notes, I don't like to use the whole thing because they sit so high. I like this to fold nice and flat. So what I do, this is actually a full post-it note and I just take half of it off and I make two with one post-it note. I also went ahead and die cut the little grass or the bushes from that new set of dies that I just showed you. And then I use this as a pattern because I like my, my edges rounded. It's hard to punch through cardstock. So I created a template, it's four by four, and I just cut off two corners and I, I use this um, as a pattern. So the first step, I'm gonna use the base and I'm going to score at four and six. Four and six, or you could do two and four, either way two inch increments. And then I'm gonna take this and fold. So there's my easel. This is how it's going to sit when you put it together. Now this is where my pattern comes in. I'm going to put this right in the corner and it's just as quick as punching. If you prefer to punch, that's okay. You could do that, but I prefer to use a, a template only because when it comes to doing the cardboard uh, part of it, it's too thick. I'm gonna do all four corners. Okay, there's my card base. So this is all four rounded corners and then it's gonna sit like this. Now, let me bring in my two pieces of cardboard. I'm gonna add liquid glue. I'm gonna glue those together. I'm gonna to stand them up so they're, they're even. And then I'm gonna also go ahead and add the designer paper. So three layers, two cardboard pieces and the designer paper. Now, let me get my trimmer. I just need to trim just a little sliver right there that's sticking out. And again, I'm gonna bring my template in. I'm gonna do all four corners. It's really easy when you have this template all made up ahead of time. And what I usually do when I'm making a bunch, like for the craft fair that I just had, I usually do a bunch of card bases, bang, bang, bang. And then I do a bunch of these layers um, and then I assemble production style. Okay, so there's my little section with all four rounded corners. The piece, the white piece that you see here needs to have two corners rounded. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those. And I actually think, I think I had made 30 of these to begin with and I, I cut all of my layers the way I want it and then I brought everything in the living room and as I watched TV, I did my cutting. Okay, let's go ahead and do the inside. So this is gonna be glued as layer number two. And I'm leaving a quarter inch around all three sides. And as far as my post-it note, I use tear and tape. I use three pieces. So for you guys that like to make stocking stuffers for friends and family, this is a great, and those calendars are really not that expensive. I think I had 30 in my pack, but I don't remember what I paid. Just make sure you open up your post-it note so you know which end is the correct end. And I put it about an eighth of an inch on the white. Press it in place, and there's the easel portion, okay? 
I have in the past stamped something on this first page. You could do like a Merry Christmas or, or some type of sentiment. Now, this is my pretend calendar since I don't have one. I used everything I had. So we're going to glue this about a half an inch from the bottom because you're going to have the height of your post-it note in front of this. So you want to allow for the height. We're going to glue this piece to the front. You're only going to add glue to that first section. Okay, and this is going to be nice and straight. I'm just going to put my hand on that just for a second. Put my glue away. Okay, and there is your calendar. Now we're going to decorate. I'm going to go ahead and add these little bushes. I'm going to put that even with the calendar. And then we're going to glue the wheelbarrow and the little basket. And I usually raise any of these layers with dimensionals. Now, don't worry about the height going over. Most of the ones that I made, I, I had them come out above the edge of the cardstock layer. I just think it looks kind of cool. Okay, we're going to add the little wheelbarrow right here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to add the little basket right there. And then I thought it'd be kind of neat to add a few dragonflies. So again, these are peel and stick. I'm going to put one right on the flowers right here. And then I'm going to have another one coming down this way. And that's it. Look how quick these are to make. Like I said, if you do production style, they go really quick. And this stands just like this. And then I just package them in a cello bag. And I actually sold mine for $4. So let me put all of these. I had a lot more designs, but I sold some. The little truck, if you guys have the truck, this was very popular. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial for today and my project. And let me know if you make any of these. If you're on Facebook, make sure you add pictures of what you make so everybody can see. Thanks so much for visiting with me tonight, everyone. Have a good week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.